Bronzeville is both a place and a spirit of the sons and daughters of the great migration to this northern city who came up by way of New Orleans, up through Memphis, up through Chicago, up to Chicago, seeking the promised land and uh, were literally restricted by legal restricted covenants imposed by people associated with the University of Chicago who wanted to contain that mass migration in a narrow band of land three and a half miles by a mile and a half wide that came to be known as Bronzeville or IE Black Metropolis. It was a place because of the concentration of people. Uh, you had 300,000 people scrammed into a narrow band of land uh, at its height. Uh, so you had people in kitchenettes and piled on top of one another, uh, commerce everywhere, restaurants, clubs, businesses, etc buoyed by and supported by the numbers racket, right? Which brought, uh, these gentlemen were making $20 million a year, right? And they underwrote a lot of businesses that were owned by African Americans. So it was a bustling uh, metropolis, if you will, of African Americans seeking greater mobility, seeking economic empowerment, seeking their emancipation, having, having survived Jim Crow uh, lynchings, right? And come to the Northern city and working for the first time where they worked side by side by other races of people and earned a living wage. And so the dollar circulated, based on us not being able to go outside that community, the dollar circulated eight, nine, 10 times. And so you had a very vibrant, though repressed community, it was a very vibrant community, full of culture and arts, which also flourished at that same time.